गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम यू ऑल फॉर आवर हिस्ट्री ऑनलाइन क्लास इन द प्रीवियस पीरियड वी लर्न अबाउट वर्धमान महावीरा एंड हिज टीचिंग्स टुडे वी विल लर्न अबाउट गौतम बुद्धा एंड बुद्धिज्म गौतम बुद्धा वॉज अ फिलोसॉफर स्पिरिचुअल टीचर एंड रिलीजियस लीडर हु लिव्ड इन एंशंट India Gautam Buddha born in the 6th century in Lumbini near Kapilvastu He was the son of Shuddhodhana the king of Kapilvastu and chief of the Shakya clan His mother Mahamaya died 7 days after the birth of Siddhartha who was brought up by his aunt his name was gautami when siddhartha was 19 years old his father got him married with a beautiful princess named yashodhara he led a married life and a son named rahul was born to the couple the great renunciation the great renunciation is the traditional term for the departure of gautam buddha from his palace at kapilvastu to live a life as an ascetic all comforts of the palace life gave no peace of mind to prince siddhartha one day he went along with his charioteer channa to the city to see life closely there he saw an old man a sick man a dead man and an ascetic ascetic means a person who renounces material comforts okay all these sorrowful sights disturbed him he became very sad and desired to find the solution of these sufferings he had found that the world was full of misery he decided to renounce the world so one night when his wife and child were asleep he left the royal palace and renounced the world at the age of 29 this event is called the great renunciation attainment of supreme knowledge after a long meditation under a peepal tree at bodh gaya he got the true knowledge he came to be known as the buddha or the enlightened one this happened in 532 bc when siddhartha was 35 years of age on the site where the buddha attained enlightenment there stands the mahabodhi temple the mahabodhi temple standing at bodh gaya in bihar which contains the bodhi tree in its a courtyards is one of the most sacred places of the buddhist this temple is said to have been built on the site where buddha meditated and got enlightenment teachings of lord buddha four noble truths according to the buddha there are four noble truths first this world is full of misery and sorrow the cause of misery and sorrow is desire misery and sorrow can be ended by killing the desire the desire can be killed by following eight fold path buddha also told the eight fold path that is right belief right speech right living right mindfulness right meditation right thought right action and right effort eight fold path right view it means to see things as they really are second 
right intentions it means decide to follow the eight fold path by being kind to others third right speech avoid telling lies spreading gossip saying hurtful things fourth right action be kind to others not to harm steal or be rude but speak the truth and respect your body fifth right livelihood have a job that help others rather than harming sixth right effort show kindness and feel positive thoughts towards others seventh right concentration be aware of what you do and how it affects others eight right mindfulness meditate to avoid greed hatred and ignorance and experience joy love and kindness some of the other main teachings of the buddha stress on ahimsa he laid great stress on ahimsa or non injury by thought word or action not only men but animals beasts and birds also deserve our love and care nirvana he stressed that the chief purpose of a man's life was to attain nirvana or salvation vardhaman mahavira told the same thing freedom from the cycle of life and death karma theory he also repeated the karma theory and said that everyone has to reap the fruit of his good or bad deeds no faith in rituals he had no faith in costly sacrifices or yajnas where animals were sacrificed he taught that all outward show was a hindrance in the attainment of salvation equality of all men in vedic civilization we learn that society was divided into classes but gautam buddha and vardhaman mahavira told same thing that we all are equal he stood for the equality of all men and included even the lowest class to become his followers he was opposed to caste system silence about god he was silent about the existence of god as it was a controversial question he did not want his religion to be involved in any controversy a code of don'ts the buddha laid down a code of don'ts for his disciples this included not to kill not to steal not to hanker after wealth not to tell lie not to commit impure acts not to wish for others property and not to use bad language and not to be angry remaining part of this chapter we'll learn in the next period thank you